despite ESCOM giving reasons for stage 6 load shedding, the citizens are concerned about the continuous rolling blackouts. I'm actually shocked. And the expression I can give you is my eyes. Because I, I guess we could have avoided this. Uh, issues around labor disputes. When we are aware that we are struggling with power at the moment. Should we point fingers? Government. Wherever government put their hand in, there's disasters, there's struggles, there's curfews, there's labor-related labor issues. The production capability in various industries uh, is being affected. For an example, uh, we can also look at the issue of gross domestic products. Because a country becomes a good country because of the production uh, 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 capability. I feel taken advantage of because we are paying rates every time we are buying electricity. It's like we are, we are being abused and I feel like our, our votes are taken advantage of. You know, it's so sad in this country that we fought for that we have to go through all this hardship. Implementing stage six means ESCOM is shedding 6,000 megawatts. Energy experts are saying stage six load shedding is an indication that ESCOM has lost over 40% of its generating capacity. ESCOM is mainly blaming the illegal strike which it claims has led to its inability to return some of the units to the grid. We have some constraints and that is mainly due to uh, a lack of operators, you know, to return these units. Now, one additional unit uh, at Matla Power Station, which previously out on service due to a breakdown, is then also expected to return to service today. But once again, this is dependent on operating staff availability. The National Union of Mine Workers and the National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa have issued a joint statement announcing that their members will halt the strike as ESCOM has agreed to go back to the negotiating table. Willem Senimtiane, SAPC News, Johannesburg.